Hi, this is Trisha. Welcome back to my channel. I have a quick video today to share how I created this lovely planner page. I'm working in my Archer and Olive dot grid journal, opening up to a clean page, and I'm going to be using products from the Greetery today. So this is a suite of products called Print Shop Fresh Floral, and it is intended to create these beautiful backgrounds and it's a mixture of stenciling, stamping, and all kinds of layers to create that really pretty beautiful detailed background. There are also dies that come with this and you can stamp individual elements from this design and die cut them out. I'm not going to be using the designs so I'm just going to be focusing on these individual elements. The layers are labeled on the packaging, which is great. So you've got layers A1, A2, A3, that completes the first flower, and so on, B1, B2, B3. I've picked some colors out of my ink swatches. These are all Stampin' Up! inks, and a lot of them are discontinued. I can give you the list of colors down below, but um, this is you know less about my color choice and a little more about just pulling this page together and using this background stamp set in a different way. So I am starting with a um, pretty in pink and old Stampin' Up! ink color and I'm using both sizes of the flowers. You can see I have the base layers mounted on two separate blocks and I'm just going to drop some of those flowers onto the bottom of my page. The base layer of my yellow flowers is so saffron and again I am just kind of randomly scattering some of these around onto my page. So here I'm showing you when I work in my dot grid journal, it does open up and lay flat, but when I'm at the beginning of the book, there's so few, so many fewer pages on the left side than there are on the right that they don't lay evenly. So I just prop up a little um, stamping pad underneath the left side and it evens everything out. And when you do that, because this lays flat, you can stamp right over the center binding. And that's one of the things I love about this journal. So I'm moving on to the second layer of my flowers now. And these line up super easily. The entire bottom of the flower just lines up with the first layer. For the pink ones, I am using Regal Rose. And then I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. Oh, no, excuse me, Crushed Curry for the second layer on my yellow flowers. That looks pretty brownish right now, but these dye inks do fade back as they dry. And I wanted to also show you they do not bleed through. That is partly because this paper in the Archer and Olive notebook is so beautiful. It's thick and heavyweight, but also my Stampin' Up! inks in particular do not bleed through at all, no matter how many layers I put on or what colors I use. So I'm on to the third layer of these stamps and you can see it adds this beautiful detail. I used Strawberry Slush for the pink flowers and I am using Mango Melody for the yellow flowers. And it just puts some shaping lines and adds some dimension and some individuality to those petals. And again, it lines up right with the bottom of the flower. It couldn't be easier to line up. I'm just going along and finishing up my flowers. I did have to edit a lot of getting my head out in the middle of the video, so um, I do look straight down over the top and that makes it easy. So there are two sizes of leaf and stem combos, and I'm just mounting those on my block and putting them in to make it look like my garden is growing up from the bottom of my page. I'm using Lucky Limeade and Old Olive inks just to give myself some variation and a couple different colors of green. I think it makes it look more interesting. So now I'm on to the smaller of the um, leaf combos and I have stamped those under the smaller flowers. There's also a little trio of leaves, this little cluster here, and I'm going to use that, uh, scatter those around in the same color inks just around the bottom of the page to fill things in just a little bit more. There is a detail layer for these um, leaf clusters and I didn't even bother with it. I felt like there was so much pretty detail. Um, I didn't even pull it out and add it. So 
So at the beginning when I showed you my color palette, I had these peach and blush colors and here's where I'm going to introduce those. There's a little sprig here. Um, there are two in the set. I'm just using the smaller of the two and I'm bending it one way and then the other so that I get a little variation. And I'm using um, crisp cantaloupe and calypso coral inks to add a little blush shade. I'm also coming in with that crisp cantaloupe and I'm popping in some of these little tiny flowers that are just in their own little groups and I'm just filling in the spaces with that. The last step for these flowers are the stamen. There's two sizes, one for each of the flowers and they just pop right on top of the flowers and it really helps set those forward petals um, apart from the back petals. I'm just choosing the darkest color for each of the flowers to add all of those in there. So it was the strawberry slush for the pink flowers and the um, mango melody. I'm skipping ahead here just a bit. Um, I went ahead off screen and drew in my columns for the week and then I also used this font alphabet stamp set. It's an older discontinued one but I just use it to run uh, Monday through Sunday across the top of my columns. And now I am using um, a Felicity Jane number set. I will link all these different products below if they are still available. I'm not sure if they all are. But you could use anything similar that you have in your stash. And I'm just using these to run across the page here and stamp in my dates. Here is a little set from Katherine Pooler from her um, Club Canva line, I think. And um, I'm just selecting the word May in a fun scripty font and I'm nesting that in with my flowers down in the corner, overlapping it and um, giving my page a little title for the month. This stamp set from Echo Park has some really great planner um, and scrapbooking headers, days of the week, and I'm using the word today here, and I'm also using this little line of dots from the same set, and that'll be my to-do list. That completes my project today. This came together super quick and easy, and I just love getting more out of my stamp sets. I made a whole batch of backgrounds using this set the other day, and I just wanted to use the individual elements to create a little garden at the bottom of my weekly calendar. I hope you like this planner page and this look at the print shop fresh floral set from the greetery. If so, please consider subscribing and give my video a thumbs up. I'd love to see you again soon.